Hello, welcome to Living Life. In this video, we want to get to know the frilled shark. Don't forget to like and comment and be sure to subscribe. Thank you. The two species of frilled shark are distributed throughout regions of the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, usually in the waters of the outer continental shelf and of the upper continental slope, where the sharks usually live near the ocean floor, near biologically productive areas of the ecosystem. To live on a diet of cephalopods, smaller sharks, and bony fish, the frilled shark practices deal vertical migration to feed at night at the surface of the ocean. When hunting food, the frilled shark curls its tail against a rock and moves like an eel, bending and lunging to capture and swallow whole prey with its long and flexible jaws, which are equipped with 300 recurved, needle-like teeth. Reproductively, the two species of frilled shark, C. anguineus and C. africana, are aplacental viviparous animals, born of an egg, without a placenta to the mother shark. Contained within egg capsules, the shark embryos develop in the body of the mother shark. At birth, the infant sharks emerge from their egg capsules in the uterus, where they feed on yolk. Although it has no distinct breeding season, the gestation period of the frilled shark can be up to 3.5 years long, to produce a litter of 2 to 15 shark pups. Usually caught as bycatch in commercial fishing, the frilled shark has some economic value as a meat and as fish meal and has been caught from depths of 1,570 meters 5,150 feet, although its occurrence is uncommon below 1,200 meters 3,900 feet, whereas in Suruga Bay, Japan. The frilled shark commonly occurs at depths of 50 to 200 m, 160 to 660 feet. I hope you liked this video so that you can take care of yourself and animals in the next video.